Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Let's start off with a little <laughs> No, that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're an OG, uh, you know that a really, really long time ago, I did a draw my life. A whole lot has happened since then. Everything that has gone on since I've been off YouTube. My drawing skills have hopefully improved. <laughs> so I thought I would do a little sequel. Or we raise the pitch of your voice and call it the squeakquel. All right, let's start. <laughs> Oh, no. If only you knew how long this video actually takes to make. <laughs> the amount of redos. The flowers that I'm looking, that I'm drawing right now kind of look like cells, you know? <laughs> the mitochondria has the power of <laughs> the cell. <laughs> how do you sell sequel? Don't say S-Q-U-E. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. NRDD, I had the opportunity to either stay with Nickelodeon or venture out and try pilot season. And it was a really tough choice because I'd grown up with Nickelodeon and that's the only thing I'd done for five years. But I ended up going with pilot season because I wanted to take a chance and sort of venture out and stretch my acting skills and see if I could book something off of that. So I talked with my friend Addison who had the same exact idea and we decided to rent an apartment and go through pilot season together. And this was a super, super fun time because I was able to sort of really challenge myself, but at the same time it was very stressful because you do a few auditions a day and most of the time you don't hear back. So during this time I got a cool audition for an ABC drama called A Million Little Things and I was really excited about this project because I thought the script was really amazing, the storyline was just awesome and it seemed like it was a really really good fit for what I was looking for. The only issue was the next day I had a few auditions that were back to back which meant that I literally had to run from each one. So because we were running from place to place things were getting very stressful so me and my mom got into a little bit of an argument before I went into my AMLT audition which actually was turned out great for me because in the script I was auditioning in, I actually had to be mad at my mom in the scene. So it was very method. But at the same time, bad news was that I forgot that I had to sing in the audition. So during the time, I literally just thought of the first song off the top of my head, which was Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And I left the audition thinking, oh gosh, I hope I did good because I really didn't feel as prepared as I should have been. So the next night I was in the car and I got a call from my manager saying that I actually booked the role, which was the best feeling on earth because all my hard work had paid off and I was so incredibly excited. But the only catch was is that I had to fly to Canada the next day, which meant that I had no warm clothes to wear because I only packed for sunny Los Angeles weather, not freezing cold Canada weather. <laughs> So long story short, I flew to Canada, I shot the pilot, I met all of my castmates, and it was an amazing experience. And I did end up going to like a department store or something, and I bought a parka. So I did not freeze, thankfully. <laughs> so after we filmed the pilot, I went back home and waited to see if it was gonna get picked up. And good news, it got picked up. So I moved up to Vancouver and it's probably one of my favorite places on earth because the city is filled with so much to do and I've only lived in the suburbs my entire life so moving to a big city was not only a big change but I felt it was something that I got to mark off my bucket list because it's such an amazing place. On my time off from shooting, I would go to museums, I would go on hikes, I would bike around the pier, I would check out all new places to eat, and I would do a whole lot of shopping. And during the first season, I had to learn a lot of new things because the character I was playing did a whole lot of stuff that I had never done before. Like, I learned how to pitch a softball, I'm currently learning how to play guitar, I got to learn how to dance, and a whole lot of other stuff. And a fun fact is there's actually a lot more paparazzi in Canada. When I lived in LA, I didn't really ever experience it, but when I went to Canada for the first week, I was like, oh, hey, what's up? 
And because I'm not in every episode in the season, it was really awesome because I was able to fit in a lot of other stuff to do. Like, I got to go to Homecoming, which was a super fun experience that I thought I would never get to do. I shot a Coca-Cola commercial, which was another thing that I got to cross off my bucket list. <laughs> Um, I dropped my brother off at college and we all said goodbye and he's probably living it up in Arkansas right now. <laughs> but probably the most eventful thing that happened to us this year was our house flooded. And that was a really weird thing, but also kind of cool because we got all new renovations, so my mom was loving that. <laughs> but the weird thing is, is that the day it flooded was the day of our premiere for our show. And the day it was finished was the day that we wrapped our show. <laughs> So it took the entire length of shooting season one. So kind of a weird coincidence. <laughs> Why is this marker not working? Do you want to just say frick it and get a Sharpie? It was a $10 board. So long story short, we finished filming season one and the whole entire cast and crew are some of the most amazing people I've ever met. And while I'm on hiatus, we're currently waiting to start up season two, which is pretty cool because it got picked up for another season. So if you guys haven't seen a million little things, you should probably watch because it's pretty cool. <laughs> so while I'm on my break, I finished school. I've been making YouTube videos and I've gotten back into athletics, which is something that I was really excited about. And all in all, while I'm on my break, I've been doing teenage stuff that I've kind of missed out on, which is pretty awesome. But if there's one thing that I would say to sort of take away from this video, it's that even though uh, being famous and being on television may seem super glamorous and amazing, at the same time, there also is a lot of hard work and sacrificing that does go into it. But if you're able to look past that and everything, this whole experience is amazing and I would not trade what I have for the world. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you next week. There's no more ASMR to do in this. I was like, I don't know. Okay, bye.